here today to demonstrate how to make a center pull on our solid lock products. And the reason you would do a center pull is when you're doing longer runs. If you were gonna do a full run, 1,320 feet or a quarter of a mile, you would break the product in the center and make a center pull. So the first thing to do on a center pull is to secure your ends. So today we're gonna to use the Gripple T-Clips to terminate. So first step, terminate your end. We have stripped back one stay off of the product and we're coming around our pipe today. Pass the wire through the T-clips and continue on down. Once we get all the T-gripples in, we'll go ahead and snug them up against the post. Again, one of the important things with the T-gripple is we want to make sure it's inside of that knot so it sits square on the, on the wire. It's very important when making long pulls to make sure that you terminate your wire square to your post. One mistake here can cause you problems later on down your fence row. Always keep your fence running square. So we've got the end terminated, so now you would repeat this process on your far end. Okay, so we're here in the center of our pull. We've got our end post termination done on this side. We've got our end post termination done on this side, and now it's time to set the stretcher bars. So we finished out one roll right here, and we've added our second roll of solid lock right here. And as you can see, is we have the gripples on the line wires, and that's where we're gonna make our joint. So the first thing to do is to lay the fabric over your stretcher bar. So the way these stretcher bars work is you want to be absolutely sure that every line wire is under one of the wedges. So the top of the stretcher bar has a little bit bigger loop than the bottom of the stretcher bar. So your wedges go in through the loops and over the line wires. So now we're ready to seat the wedges. So don't be afraid to hit the wedges. Uh, the steel is a little bit softer, so you're not going to damage the wire too much. So just seat it. Now you'll hear a distinct tone difference when the, the wedges seat. Now at this point, our first stretcher bar is set. We're gonna roll this wire back up out of the way just a little bit. We're gonna set the second one. So for this pull today, we're gonna to set about 10 feet of space between our stretcher bars, and then we're gonna pull the stretcher bars together, designating the center pull. So a general rule of thumb is start off with about five feet of distance between your stretcher bars and add one foot for every 100 feet of pull that you're gonna make. So we're roughly about 500 feet today uh, for this demonstration, so we're gonna set about 10 feet between our bars. Okay, so to set our puller, we got a chain, and this chain comes with 21 feet of chain. It has got a hook on one end, so we'll hook it into our bar. This is our puller. It's got a hook on the end, it'll hook on the other end of the bar, and it's got this jaw. And as we work that chain puller, it'll move back and forth, and it'll, it'll take up the slack on the chain. So we'll show you that in just a second. So we'll go ahead and set this into the bar. Okay, so a couple of safety things that we like to talk about when we put the stretcher bar chains and pullers in there. First thing is that we wanna make sure that our chain is straight. 
no twist in it, so as this walks, it hooks onto the chain very easily. When you start to pull uh, the wire tight, we always tell you to pull it, come to the other side and pull it. You don't want to get your face down here and pull it because if you happen to miss, it could come back and really hurt you. Another thing that we usually try to tell people is not to stand over top of it as we go. Kind of self-explanatory as to why we suggest that. So basically once we have them set, we can just work together and we'll start, slowly start to tension that wire. One of the things that we watch as we go along is we'll watch the ends of the wire and it'll actually start to stand up. Now if you look down the fence line, you can see on down there where the fence is actually starting to stand up a little bit. So now as it starts to really get tensioned well, we really want to start to pay attention to uh, how, we, how we pull the chains and the bars. So at this point, it's really good to be working with a partner because we've walked the chains down. Now at this point, we can stand the product up because it's starting to get under tension. Now at this point, we're starting to get good tension. He will hold that over. I'll come under. And I'll pull the product one more time. And now we will square the fence up. Now, as you can see, the fence is squaring up really good, but we need about one more on the top to catch up with the bottom. So at this point, we're matched up, we're good and square. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the excess fabric off and push it through the gripple. So now, we have cut away the excess fabric. So with the pre-installed gripple joiners, all you have to do now, pass the wire through, and continue you on down. One of the things here, don't push them all real tight in the beginning. It's nice to have a little bit of slack in there to go as you go along. So at this point, you have a couple of options. We've got the fabric good and tight. You can either take a gripple torque tool and you can pull the remainder of the slack out simply by opening the handles, placing the wire in the gripples, and then closing the handles and pulling the slack out. So at this point, you can actually pull the wire through by hand the gripples are set, then you can release the tension back into the remainder of the fence. That little bit of slack will be absorbed into the rest of the fence. At this point, just remove your chain from your puller, remove it from the stretcher bar. So come to the bottom, push down on your chain walker, Lift the ear up and allow that slack to absorb into the fence. Open it, remove it. Now you've got a good tight fence down the remainder. You can now remove the wedges from the stretcher bar simply by driving them up. And I, I always recommend when you're removing the wedges to start at the bottom, if you take the top wedge out first, sometimes this wire will curl over and then as you try to get the ones below it out, they'll hit on the wire. So start from the bottom, it makes it a little bit easier.
Remove that stretcher bar and lay it down. Now you've got a nice splice with the gripples. You've performed the center pull. You're ready to tie your fence off.